Hey guys, it's Erica. We're going to be checking out XG's Tippy Toes choreography. Very, very excited for this because they were, have done a lot of, I don't know, say, training, I guess, with YGX, um, which great, great choreographers and stuff like that. I think I've really kind of enjoyed a lot of the choreographies they've done for like different artists and stuff. Like, uh, oh, I overwhelm, I guess, oh, I liked more than I've disliked, but I. I I'd have to look more at specific of who choreograph like the specific choreographies and stuff like that. But I feel like for the most part, I really like them and their um, dances seem very, very interesting in the music video. So there's a lot I want to look at here. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do, girl. That's what we're gonna do. Um, especially s seeing the approach of them being like a global girl group, but sort of very much kind of leaning. The members are all Japanese, but kind of a very K-pop-ish group structure. I don't know necessarily J-pop, how those types of groups work and stuff um even though the company is joint ygx and um avex is that the name of the company um so uh yeah so it'll be very interesting to see how choreography is done because we've definitely seen well n not that i've checked out and stuff but but choreography is very interesting how they choreograph um for um western girl groups and stuff so yeah but i'm very excited so you know what it like oh or i guess like other group groups that are like global can work is nice though. Like so, hello. D give us the rose. Oh. Okay, yeah, she different. Okay, floor work. Literal floor work. Okay. Oh, she said she'll never reveal. That's a cool formation. I like that. That's sick. Oh, okay. Strong legs club. Kind of having that pity patter of the feet is really nice. Especially tippy toes. That's what I want to see. Let me get the forward, queens. Clean. Oh, I like that transition. Give us the lean. To the floor! Okay, that was sick. To transition to that. I'm excited to check out the dance part to see how that really looks. Did she say church? As if I haven't listened to the song a billion times and I just catch it right now. Yeah, their texture is nice. And I think it's definitely a choreography that works globally. Oh shit, flexibility. They showcase that a lot. It is a debut though. Just changing the formation like that just does so much. Okay, lighting. That foot work coming through. It would be nice if they were all had the same shoes that she has center. Like, was that turning into the whacking? We see it. We see it, girl. A lot of, lot of emphasis on the black back flexible leg. Well, hello? Okay, there's so much happening choreography wise, girl. What do we even talk about first? Oh, look at the little. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Okay, that was. Wow, that was a la 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 happening in the choreography, but it's so interesting on how the choreography is kind of a little, a lo it's, well, it's not low key, but it is kind of like low key. The song's low key. Um, so it's very interesting though. Very, very interesting. But wow, they showcase sort of like everything and some very, very different dancing techniques. We got a lot of floor work. We got f floor 
work, but with the leg work kind of just, yeah, and stuff. That was kind of crazy there at the end. Um, and we got a lot of good footwork, leg work. We saw some of the little looked kind of very like touching. It was touching, very touching. Um, and then through it's whacking in there. So they're, they're showcasing a lot of their um, different dance styles into those different techniques, which is really, really cool to see. And the choreography itself, it doesn't feel super duper K-pop-ish. And so it does feel something that on a global scale, because they are global girl group, would 100% work and stuff. And it's, it, to me, it looks different than how you see a lot of um, Western choreography or how Western artists do it. It feels um, just, it, it definitely, I would put it in a category of leans into feeling like a very dancery type choreography, if that makes sense. Like how um, if you have an artist or a group that really focuses on dance, it feels like something you would see a, like a, because there's a difference between doing something for like a performance, like a K-pop performance, and doing something that competitive, and doing something you would put out for like a dance group type of video, like a dance crew, like if they were to do like a choreography, how would that look? And that's sort of where I'm kind of putting this a little bit. And so I don't think it's like super like competitive and stuff. You know what I mean? I feel like they, you have to, you have to. There'd be a lot you gotta do to stake up the choreography to be like competitive, but showcasing their skills in these sort of ways. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if any of their future choreographies do lean into not not like lean into like them going to like a competition, but definitely lean to be just like competitive level. Um, like seven, like all like like the last five of Seventeen's choreographies have felt. You know what I mean? Um, so it's and other groups also do that. And so but I don't think well maybe some Luna maybe some Luna would be in that route um, but yeah but I really really love this choreography showcases so so much the formations were interesting and really really cool and the, the movements that were also accompanying that were really really cool created really really nice visuals I just the lighting here is kind of killing me um, and again, some of the outfit choices, because one of them is wearing shoes with white on the bottom, and I think that would have been killer to see that um, for the footwork sections, and to just see everybody in sync, and then you really, really get to see how clean they are with that. Um, I really would like to see that on everybody, because um, the way when she did it, like I'm drawn to what she's doing footwork-wise for that section. Um, but yeah, but they absolutely really killed the choreography. It looked very, very clean. It's giving everything it needs to give and stuff. And I feel like it just, it just, it just working for me, girl. I'm working for me. It's working all for me and showcasing just enough and stuff. So again, the lighting for both of this. Well, I, were they have multiple sets? I don't think so. Well, maybe and stuff. Like I just kind of wish that the black on the black. You can see their silhouettes, and so like props to like probably the post production there for making their silhouettes still be seen and stuff. But like visually, they are kind of fading into the background. Not anything that's compromising the dancing of the silhouettes, but you know they sort of had like when they were sort of in like the bigger sort of warehouse sort of section, and there was maybe like a light kind of going in the background. Like get a spotlight going just like in and out there, just just because it's sort of. I don't know, is flat the right word for that? Like, it, it may be and stuff, but like, I kind of wish there was a little bit more happening lighting wise to sort of set them off or set off the background for them, give a lot like more like visual depth, even though this is a showcase of the choreography. I think that could have been a little bit different for me personally. Um, even though, again, I saw all the choreography I need to see, girl. Um, Change of that, I think, would have like visually made the video more dynamic and more. Um, Interesting that what it was. There was a lot of great shots, a lot of great camera work that was absolutely working for the choreography. Nice editing choices there. Um, so yeah, but this is absolutely amazing. I'm in love with this choreography. I think it's fantastic. It's really, really cool. Um, and, it, and it does feel different from my, like what I normally see for like K-pop choreography. So, um, and again, having them be sort of doing a lot of work um, with YGX, you know, I, I would kind of like see, want, It'd be like see if there was a lot of similarities there up to how like K-pop choreography is structured and stuff. And there is, but there's not at the same time. So it's really, really cool to see them sort of very much pull from how we don't see choreography done for a K-pop group, uh, but totally remix it and do a lot of different stuff with that. So yeah, I would love to see them do this song 
and do like a performance on like a Western show, like a MTV Music Awards, a Billboards or something like that. Like they would absolutely murder that stage and stuff. And even with the outfits, like girl, don't even give a lot. Don't even give a lot to the Fitch. Just let the song, let what they do speak for themselves and they would kill it. Go to put your thoughts and comments down below to thought about XG's Tippy Toes choreography. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and you want to see more of my videos, go and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, such as TikTok, or description down below or at the end screen. Share this video to your friends. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Be on your tippy toes.